Welcome back to Renee's Way. I'm Renee, of course, and I am back with another video. Uh, welcome to all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers. Hey! Um, so I'm making this video. This is for my Crohn's and Colitis people or anybody who is considering uh, using Stellara or are currently taking Stellara and have questions. Um, this is the video for you. Um, so I am just going to give y'all a quick progress update and um, answer some questions that I had in the last video. Um, if I did get back to your comments uh, late, I'm sorry. I don't really be checking because I don't think people will be watching my videos. So um, I did try to get back to everybody and respond, but we're going to go uh, over some of the questions in here too. So I am officially in remission. So I went and got a colonoscopy at the end of November when I went back home and I am officially, like I said, in remission. There was no signs of Crohn's in my scope. Um, so I am super, super happy about that. Um, so which means the medication is working. Um, I have been on there for almost two years. So it's looking and it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, so that's going to kind of lead into the questions that I was getting, uh, which was, um, like how long does it take for it to work? So the medication for me, I started seeing real, uh, signs of improvement within like five to six months. So you want to give it some time. Um, as I mentioned before in the last video, I did uh, notice that the medication was wearing off. Um, I was starting to kind of flare and have signs, and that's when my doctor gave me the test um, to check to make sure the medication was still in my system, which it wasn't. So uh, we went from eight weeks to four weeks. So I take it every four weeks. So that is something that you want to look out for. If you are feeling like it's not working for you, that may be an issue. Um, talk with your uh, GI to have them actually uh, test you and make sure the medication is staying in your system. Um, I got the question of uh, how much does it cost me? I personally don't pay. Uh, my insurance covers it all, thankfully. Um, however, there is a um, program called Janssen through Janssen and they do uh, do like financial assistance. Um, so uh, you can talk with your doctor with that. I think it was going to be like $5 an injection um, when they were considering it for me uh, before I got the approval. So check that out if you are curious about the pricing. Um, I had a question that um, wanted to know about um, whether they should start Stellara opposed to any of the other medications. I would say I, I, I don't like Humira at all. I would never recommend Humira um, personally because of the, the things I went through with it. Um, however, Remicade, I love Remicade, so I am a, I, Remicade is good. Uh, I would, I would recommend Remicade. Um, I did catch antibodies to it early on, so um, I didn't get to have a long period with it, but um, it does have really good uh, rate, success rates. So I would try Remicade before I try Stellara. Uh, I feel like Stellara is kind of like a, a last option for people who, who haven't had any luck with other medications. Um... I've had questions about um, symptoms or any type of side effects. Um, I haven't had many side effects. Um, that, I don't think there's too many side effects uh, with Stellara. Now, I know that um, um, UTIs is a big side effect. And um, I have had an issue once before, which I never had. So I'm assuming that it may have came from the medication. I do take D-Manos, which is a, um, a supplement. Um, that helps with like urinary tract. So I do take that now and I think that does wonderful. So I always try to take it, especially um, at the beginning when I'm about to do my infusions and things like that. I make sure that I'm taking those uh, supplements. And then to get into supplements, uh, you want to be careful with the supplements you take while taking this medication um, because I learned the hard way. Um, you know, everything does not... Um, go well with this medication because it is immunosuppressant so you want to be careful with the herbs if you take like herbal supplements you want to be careful trying new things because me i'll be trying stuff especially because i'll be on tiktok and yeah i'll be paying for it because we like not we're not normal people we're like cool people so we gotta watch what we do so uh i did end up uh i'm pretty sure uh had shingles at the beginning of the year um, while I started taking um, these ashwagandha 
supplements um, and they are not meant for people with who is on Stellara. So if you are on Stellara, do not take ashwagandha supplements. It is very, very counterinteractive. So don't take it. Um, but I did end up, you know, getting uh, shingles right here. Thankfully, it wasn't uh, bad. Um, when I went, they thought it was um, folliculitis, but now that I know, it, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. So um, be careful with that. And then that goes into my next thing. Uh, we are supposed to, from what I've seen um, in a lot of my Stellar support groups, you're supposed to be um, given a shingles vaccine prior to starting Stellara. Um, that was never mentioned to me by my gastro. Uh, a lot of the people who are in the support group um, have had shingles and um, most of all the people in there has had shingles um, and they were told that they are supposed to have the Shingrex vaccine. If not both dosage, at least the initial. Um, so I guess it just depends on your gastro doctor, but a lot of people did mention that. So you may want to check with them on that too. Um, Let's see, another question that I had was um, eating. Um, I can eat pretty much anything that I want. Um, I do, like I said before, stay away from problem foods that I would cause me flares back then. I just have never tried it since, um, but um, I do eat well. I gained 40 pounds since I had started the medication. I've lost 20 pounds because I work out now. So um, I do work out five days a week. I've changed my eating habits just for my own health. Uh, but I, uh, eating wise, I am good to go. Um, I be forgetting that I am not sick at times. So like sometimes I gotta check myself like, you know, calm down girl, don't forget where you came from. But um, I be eating, I be eating good too. Uh, now when it is time for my next injection, like if I'm, late on taking my injection because sometimes I'm a couple days late just because I just that's just stuff I do I do super stuff um so if I'm late I can like tell a difference like in my bowel movements and things like that so I know my body I can tell a difference where it's like okay it's time to take your uh, medication but as far as a flare uh stomach pains like I, I really I have had no issues um in the, in the long time and since since I've since probably a year and a half now um so everything has been wonderful um but that is really all that I have for right now um of course if you have more questions that's the only things I could think of right now uh, if you have more questions you can always put them in the comments if you have deeper questions or uh you know have want to go more in depth about something please email me as I mentioned my email will be in the description always I would um more than likely uh, respond back quicker through email uh, because I check that daily. So uh, write me on my email, um, leave comments down here. If you started Stellara, I would love to hear how it's going. Um, all of that. I'm wishing everybody well, good health. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace.